for all of us to know. It's human trafficking. Now, when we all think of human trafficking, we think that it's a third world, third world issue. We never think that it's something here in the United States. But in fact, it is. An estimated 2.5 million people are forced into trafficking at any given time. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says that there's at least 100,000 human trafficking cases in the United States alone. And this isn't just people that have come to the United States that don't have social security cards, that don't have papers. This is U.S. citizens that are being trafficked. According to USA Today, they've received stories varying from girls being sold at sleepovers by their friends' fathers to a girl that was forced to sleep with their clients during her school lunches. This is Asia Graves. She was trafficked at the age of 16 in Boston, was abused, cut, beat, and forced to sleep with various men. Her tormentors, they always told her that they loved her. She's had more than one, what everybody likes to call a pimp. She's had more than one. They always told her that they loved her and they knew what was best for her. She was sold in cities like New York, Atlanta, Philadelphia, Atlantic City, and Miami. And uh, she was trafficked for about four years. Now, this happened in the United States. It didn't happen in Latin America. It didn't happen in Russia or China. It was right here. This is Chong Kim. She was born in South Korea, but she is a US citizen. She was trafficked at the age of 19 in Dallas, Texas. Her story is not that much different from Asia's. She was taken to Oklahoma by somebody who claimed to be her boyfriend. He burned all of her identification paperwork, so she no longer had anything stating that she was a US citizen. She was alone and she had nobody to help her. She was raped, and then she was taken to Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, she was tormented with 40 to 50 other girls, and they were all forced to sleep with men. Now, in Chong Kim's story, she was forced to sleep with 40 to 110 men per day. Now, she finally escaped four years later and fled to Minnesota. Here, she was saved by the local Center for Women. Since 2006, the U.S. Department of Education has worked on training several schools in the D.C. area to try to teach these young girls and educate the staff as well on how to get help if you're ever put in this type of situation. So, we can help too. We can stop human trafficking. We can stop this in the United States and stop this in our neighborhoods. So how do you help? All right, education is gonna be our best weapon here. These websites that I've posted up for you, the A21 campaign, and the UNDC.org. The first website, it's a whole bunch of articles and books that you can read. It's basically giving you a whole bunch of information that you can take and teach others with. All right? The second one comes from the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. This is what they use uh, to pretty much educate all of their staff members. They have a whole bunch of really good links on there. Uh, they have PDFs training material, videos, and reports. If you click on it, they show you stories, they give you videos on, uh, if you're given training, they basically teach you how to give the training. It's a really good website. Now, when you educate yourself and those around you, you're pretty much putting more knowledge out there to give people more possibilities to make a difference. You can also donate. When you donate to organizations and shelters, such as the uh, A21 campaign, there's the Not For Sale campaign, and she is crisis.com. There's hundreds of organizations all around the world that are trying to stop this issue. They just need our support. You can also volunteer. Pass out some reading material, use social media as a weapon. Let's get this information out there. Join a project in your local state. You can make a video and just post it on YouTube. None of these things that I'm asking you guys to do are time consuming. It just needs you to put less in and we can save these people around us. Just think, if we all give $21, the 821 campaign, they call it 821 because you give $21 a month, or pass out a few booklets to teach a class, you can give a voice to those who don't have any. President Obama stated, when a little girl is sold by her impoverished family, or girls my daughter's age are running away from home, and utter, and lure it, that's slavery. It's barbaric, it's evil, and it has no place in the civilized world. I agree. So 
let's do something about it.